Hey there YouTube and uh, welcome to another Effects Channel House tutorial. Uh, I've been not doing tutorials for quite a while so uh, I've been a lot busy with client projects and intros and uh, images and uh, a lot of that stuff so um, but I had time to, to make a, just a short tutorial for you guys uh, here at uh, Cinema 4D and uh, Turbulence uh, FT so um, it's a cool plugin for Cinema 4D to make smoke and fire and uh, a few other things so uh, uh, it's a really cool thing uh, to learn here at uh, FX Channel House, and uh, I hope you enjoy this. So, um, I'm going to pass by for a few settings uh, here at Turbulence FD, and I'm going to leave you with a cool uh, smoke scene for you to render and uh, make a um, cool animation on this. So, um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope you follow along. So, let's uh, jump on a new project and let's go, guys. All right, people. So now that we have our cinema for the open, uh, let's start our project. So um, I already put my render settings uh, to ambient inclusion, uh, global illumination. Also put the anti-aliasing to best, and I already have my folder to save my images and all that. And uh, you can do the same. So it's uh, very easy. And I also put my uh, render settings here to 1920 for 1080. So uh, just just so we can uh, start it this faster. So. Um, now that, 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 we, that we have this, uh, we can go to our plugins and turn on safety, uh, turn on safety container, and um, and this is our container. So uh, everything that uh, is going to be passing inside of this uh, is going to be affected by the smoke. So uh, everything that uh, you put outside is not going to be affected. So um, this is the basic. Uh, how can I say? Uh, this is the basic settings for the the turn on safety container for the sizes and all, all that. So. Uh, what you're going to do, uh, you're going to your container here, you're going to put this size uh, for about 1500, okay, and uh, you're going to put uh, also a sphere inside, so I'm going to put this sphere uh, with the radius enough, about 2-2, two, two. that should be cool, and uh, what you're going to do, uh, you're going to your front view, you're going to decrease the size of this a little bit, you're going to grab your thermal safety container, I'm going to bring this a little bit up and the sphere also you're going to put it like this so yeah it's okay now if you go to your perspective you can uh, see this uh, already better so uh, this is just for the start i'm going to show you how to make this a little bit uh, how, can, uh, how, uh, how i did on the, um, the lab tests going to put this on the sides uh, but that we're going to do with the camera so but um, now first I'm going to put this uh, simulating and uh, all this uh, like uh, working together and then we go into the part of the render so um, and now that you have a sphere you can put uh, the thermal safety tags you're going to put a thermal safety object and uh, on the thermal safety object you're going to put uh, the density value about to about to two, two it's okay uh, this could be like this on the first and the pressure can also be like this so um, just for the start and uh, on the thermal safety container you probably have the smoke shader is okay you probably have the fire shader uh, with the temperature or burn or something else so I'll put it to none so that we can render the smoke only uh, if you put this to temperature uh, I'm going to say if you put the fire shaded to temperature, you're going to render fire. So uh, uh, this is the smoke tutorial. We're going to work uh, on the smoke. Uh, okay, so um, if you grab your thermal safety container, if you go to your plugins and uh, run fluid similar simulation, you see that you already have uh, I can say uh, some smoke uh, getting out of there. But it's a really tiny thing. Uh, it's a uh, it's a really crappy thing uh, for beginning so but um, this is the basic settings for uh, I can say for thermal safety and the thermal safety container so um, when, once that we have this we can now start to adjust this to, to make a, a cool smoke scene so uh, let's grab our thermal safety container uh, on the container on the smoke shader I'm going to put the thickness to about to about 25 Let's push this to 25. Ah, crap. Okay, 25. It's okay. And uh, fire shade is to none. And uh, here it's okay. We're going to our simulation. And on the simulation, the timing. The timing here, uh, this is for the, I'm not going to say to make slow motion or fast motion. 
uh, I'm going to bring this on another tutorial, uh, not for this one. So the velocity can stay like this. And the wind direction, uh, we can put this to about to 4. And uh, the vorticity and turbulence, we can bring this to 0. And uh, temperature, it's OK. And on gravity, let's put bring this to about 25. 25 should be cool. So right. On fuel and burn, we don't need it because we don't going to get fire. So um, this should be okay to make another simulation. So let's uh, bring a turbine safety uh, plugin and r run fl fluid simulation. And if you see, you already have a, can I say like a bigger, a bigger and denser, denser the like a smoke thing. Uh, and if you make a render. You make a render, you see that you don't have nothing uh, because the render settings have to have a ambient occlusion. So uh, we need some lights over here. I'm going to bring a spotlight. I'm going just to zoom this a little bit out. I'm going to put this spotlight over here. Just rotate it a little bit. That's okay. And uh, if we bring a zoom on this and uh, make a render, you see that we already have smoke. So uh, but this is really very, very crappy for, for beginning. So uh, uh, now that we have uh, our simulation, I'm going to put my camera over here. I'm going to put this to zero, also this to zero, and, uh, and this to 90. I'm going to put this on on. And uh, if you make a zoom now, let's bring a zoom on this. To grab our scene file that is over there. It's just to, to put things up and I say a little bit uh, how I did um, that lab test. So uh, you see that uh, we don't have like nothing for already, but uh, on a few steps uh, this is going to change a lot. Uh, I will promise you. So uh, I'm going to play this, and if you if you make a render. You see that that you have have your smoke, but this don't have. I can say this don't have detail. This don't have density. Uh, this is just a crappy thing over here. So, um, uh, but what you can do now uh, is going to turbo safety container, and you go into to vorticity and bring this to one to one. That that's enough, and uh, this also to to about one. Now on the density channel, bring this to density. And on the buoyance, I'm going to put the buoyance to 550, should be cool. The gravity, I'm going to bring this to about 35, 35 should be cool. And on the container, and uh, the container, I'm going to put cache velocity. So uh, in here, I can delete my cache so that uh, it won't overstack. And um, this is okay. And uh, I'm going to put the voxel size. Uh, I'm going just to leave this um, uh, like this, so that the, so that you can see the difference uh, on the few steps that that we are making. So um, I'm going to put the meter size to two, and I'm going to bring this density value to about 20. 20 should be cool. All right. So uh, if you bring this backwards, and you go to plugins. Thermal safety container and run fluid simulation. You see, you see that you already have a, I can say a, a little bit detailed and a little bit, I can say, more smoke uh, and more density. So, um, so, what we need to do now uh, is just to bring some pressure on this and. Um, uh, can I say bring a little bit of vorticity and turbulence on the, on the smoke so uh, I'm going to put the pressure on about 45 45 should be cool and uh, okay 45 45 and um, I'm going to bring uh, the density a little bit lower and put this on hand that's cool okay and on the render here, I'm going to put this thickness to about to about 30. And um, 
smoke color I'm going to bring a little bit for more more for light it's okay so if you, let's just make another simulation run fluid simulation you see you already have smoke a uh, little bit more dense um, how can I say uh, but uh, you still don't have detail you don't have nothing so uh, what you're going to do you're going to your container you're going to bring this voxel size to about 3 and you're going to bring this backwards again and just take a little bit let me say the density here the pressure is cool but the density value could be like on 25 but in here we can bring this on simulation we can bring this dense, this gravity to about 25 now let's put this to 20 that's okay and also put this to minus minus 3 all right now go to the render settings density the smoke shade is okay uh, you can increase a lot of uh, how can I say you can increase a lot of the um, of the resolution in here but it will take more time to render so um, I'm just going to show you uh, the basic settings for you to to get that smoke uh, uh, that smoke density and that smoke uh, can I say um, thing that I did with uh, the lab test so I went to the container again and I'm going to bring the voxel size yeah let's make a render of the voxel size on the on tree and uh, so that you can see the difference in here you see that you already have a uh, let's say uh, more detailed uh, a little bit more detail but it's not it's not looking cool it's like uh, really looking crappy so uh, I'm gonna bring this to one I'm gonna bring this backwards and I'm going to plugins turbo safety and I'm going to run fluid simulation uh, the thing that I did, uh, how can I say, I could be uh, copying the, how can I say, the settings uh, of what I did for the, um, uh, how can I say, for the lab test, but I didn't want to, to do that, so I, I want I wanted to to pass by for um, for a few steps for you to to understand uh, the difference that uh, that you that you can make uh, like only with the voxel size because uh, we had a crappy like smoke and. Uh, only decreasing the, the voxel size we have uh, very detailed and then you, you can see here uh, we have a very detailed smoke so um, you can also now uh, can I say uh, make some changing on the color of the smoke and uh, uh, can I say also um, you can put more pressure on this just to make like a nuclear bomb so the, the pressure is that make um, that effect of the mushroom. So uh, if you go to plugins, thermos FD, run uh, simulus, uh, run simulation. You see that uh, you have uh, more pressure, and the fluid uh, gets uh, gets that thing, and uh, it looks really cool. So um, if you make a render on that, you see that you have like a kind of mushroom over here. So um, the tutorial is this, and uh, how can I say? Um, we can pass a lot of more time uh, just uh, adjusting this and making these things but um, I'm not going to put the, the tutorial like uh, to about more time but I'm going just to, to put this a little bit more cool so you can stay with a cool animation and uh, make your make your render so uh, I'm going to the, the thermal safety tag I'm going to put pressure on 70 or 8 yeah 80 is cool I'm going to put the density value to about 30 again so just to see how this is going so I'm um, going on the render on the render I'm going to put the smoke color a little bit more bright and I'm going to put the shadow color a little bit more bright also that's okay so uh, the fire shader and the, and the burn shader is okay and uh, that's okay let's make another run fluid simulation let's see how this is going looking a little bit uh, better and um, and then also uh, you can uh, you can uh, increase the, the size of your of this so you can have uh, like a 
a bigger animation for for the smoke thing. But I, I think um, I'm happy with this, and I just wanted to, to pass uh, to you, uh, can I say the um, the basic settings uh, for for terminal FT. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and hope you you make your render settings and uh, your your things uh, here at uh, Cinema 4D. And um, hope uh, you find this interesting. So uh, hope to see you on uh, another tutorial or another client project because I have a lot of things to do now and uh, a lot of projects to to set up. And I uh, hope you enjoy this. So uh, guys, uh, make your things, uh, make your renders, and um, keep following uh, FX Channel. So uh, see you guys. Bye. <laughs>